Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about studying for an exam without getting overwhelmed. Imagine you have to study for an exam with lots of content, with lots of different concepts that you have to learn and connect. You have lots of study material in lots of places and you don't know where to start and you are completely overwhelmed. This is what happened to me when I started learning for the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certificate. So I'm going to use the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam here as an example to show you how to study in a structured and effective way using my app Traverse Link. But this method works for any complex exam, whether it's in medicine, chemistry, computer science, or it's SAT or GMAT. But the example I'm going to use here is the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certificate. So this is the exam I want to take. AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. And right now I'm, I'm a bit overwhelmed. Like I'm seeing all this information. What is AWS Cloud? Architectural principles, value proposition, services. I've got hands-on experience with AWS, but I have no idea what the exam is going to be like. So I subscribe to a couple of courses that help you practice for this exam. One is on Udemy. It's a course by Stefan Marek. Let's go to the overview. So here he's got a bit of an introduction, but it's not really clear what's going to be in the course. So let's have a look at the sections. Introduction, codes and slides. Slides are here. Again, it's a lot. There's not a lot of organization. So maybe let's just look at the different sections. What is cloud computing? IM, identity management, EC2, ELB, S3. Okay, so a whole bunch of AWS services. Then finally, you got billing other services preparing for the exam. Then I bought this, which is just like practice exams. If I take one of those, it's uh, a lot of questions, but no overview about what is happening, how stuff builds on each other, how stuff connects. So let's try to build this high level overview ourselves. So the way I'm going to structure my studies is um, I'm going to use this app. It's my app traverse.link. And this allows you to study effectively using mind maps, flashcards, spaced repetition, and active learning techniques. So I'm studying a new exam, so I'm just going to create a new course here. I'm just going to call it AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Now I can start adding sections and lessons. So let's try to synthesize from those websites, what sections we should use. First of all, it seems you have uh, what is cloud computing, both here and here, what is AWS cloud. So let's make that a section. And then after we create those sections, we will be able to go inside each of them and add content, add flashcards, add questions. All right, so the next section maybe should be an AWS cloud. We can always drag these around or change them later. Then inside AWS Cloud, we have the global infrastructure structure. We have architectural principles, value proposition. So let's just follow that structure. Value proposition. And finally, we're going to make a section for the AWS services. So let's add the main services inside here. Here, EC2 is an important one. ELB and ASG, let's call that another one. Then S3, the storage, is an important one. Databases and analytics, I'm going to copy that as well. Other compute services. Then we have some other sections which are not service specific. So we have deployments here, leveraging infrastructure, cloud integrations, cloud monitoring. So let's take a look what AWS says about that. So this is actually the exam guide. 
So you have four domains, cloud concept, security and compliance, technology, billing and pricing. So we're going to call this processes. So in, inside there, maybe we'll have deployments. The monitoring is a process. Integrations, VPC and networking could be inside services. And now I know that security and compliance is going to be a main section. Whereas machine learning, it is just another bunch of services. So let's put that in services as well. And I guess integration should be the last section here. So let's put, let's switch those around. And actually we skipped over identity and access management here and we got advanced identity here so let's just create another section identity management i don't know yet if it's going to be here at the end or if you should move it somewhere here let's leave it here for now and then finally we'll have billing and pricing so that looks like a decent initial overview of what we have to learn of course as we learn more we might need to update this, shift things around, but that's all right. And that's what I will show in the next videos. I think this is enough for today. We'll let this sink into our heads. Then tomorrow we can come back and actually start filling in some of those. So we managed to create an overview and just get some clarity in our head. In the next videos, I'll go into more detail onto what the next steps are, how to actually know the bits you should study, and how to use spaced repetition, active recall, and other effective learning techniques to reduce your anxiety, avoid being overwhelmed, and pass your exam with confidence and a good grade. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for more.